Yo, so it's been pretty interesting this week. And actually today, earlier today, we I think I'm going to call today the tribute day. Earlier today, we pretty much had like the successor and the predecessor go against each other of the McLarens. So we had the F1 and the P1. And the P1 actually lost, but it required only to lose by 26 seconds and not by the 30 seconds that I had put it. So I was thinking, what would be the gap between these two successors and predecessor? The Ferrari Enzo and the La Ferrari, because the La Ferrari actually replaced the Ferrari Enzo basically in a way. So let's see if modern technology, how much ahead did it get from this car? And I'm gonna make sure my assist everything is on automatic and perfect. So just like that, it's the way I'm gonna run it, just like the way the computer will run it. The computer is unbeatable, and let's see what happens. Let's see if 30 seconds is more than enough time to kill a La Ferrari around the Le Mans. Now remember the LaFerrari is specifically made for track as the McLaren P1 is made for track and top end. It is mostly for track but it does have a little bit of top end in it as well as the F1 did. If they were trying to make the old car, they were trying to make the old car for a reason. Just like the LaFerrari, the LaFerrari is concentrated purely on track just like the Ferrari Enzo was. Because the Ferrari does not have a tremendous top speed and neither does the LaFerrari. So they're very common in a way, they actually made really good predecessors. Um when that porsche pack comes out i will do a remake of something similar to these videos later on when the porsche pack comes out and i can compare the carrera gt if it comes out with the 918 spider which is basically the successor version of that i wish i could compare that but they just don't have that pack here because i know forza is all about that oh we're gonna sell the forza you know Porsche expansion pack basically right so let's see here we got the Ferrari Enzo and the La Ferrari kind of a weak start there for the Ferrari Enzo but we are doing I feel like this car is faster than the P1 and then the F1 but I don't know if it's that much faster than the, than the La Ferrari the La Ferrari is just one king at track but I'm not gonna lie it's doing pretty good look it's taking the and again, this was a very track, 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 track focused car. And to, to this day, it has really modern technology still in it. And when we're using paddle shifters and it's, we're still using V12s. You know, like this is not a bad car. This is a really, really modern car still, in a way, if you would own one. And if you own one, you have some serious cash. Or, man, you could probably resell it if you're the original owner. For some serious cash. So by now the LaFerrari should have left. I don't think we're gonna be seeing it on the straightaway. I don't think it tracked it that fast. Let's see. I only noticed that the LaFerrari is catching up on speed wise. It hasn't caught me yet. about to catch me it looks like I'm only pulling a little bit the LaFerrari is it is struggling like I said it's not that much more of a top end car than this one is and we are pretty much still right now on the feet to the left as you guys see it and the LaFerrari is trying to come back give it the full beam on the brakes Oh my god, this is a Ferrari Enzo, it should have been brakes. Yes it did, it braked right on time. Go! No excuses right now, but I think I'm gonna take it as a clear Just like I did with the McLaren. But the McLaren was more sketchy. Hmm. What can we do here? What can we do here? Hit me up. Oh, get on the brakes hard. Get on the turn. Nasty backfires. I don't see it in my sight yet, but I know he's coming. He's there. He's on my map. Oh, God. Man, we just took that turn like no problem. I don't think, I think I have a chance of it. I feel like I'm 
very confident. This car responds quickly, it pulls pretty hard, and it turns really good still for being an old car. I wouldn't, I don't know if I can consider an old timer yet. Hmm. Let's go, Ferrari Enzo. Uh, oh my god, that was too much. Wow, a little, a lot of oversteer there. It still had pain, it still kept the lead. Where's that lock Ferrari? Wow! I'm really creating a gap between me and him. Oh my god, get on the brakes. So yeah, the LaFerrari is not that much more modern than this car. I clearly won there. Now, I think the McLaren P1 actually had a better chance because would have a better chance against this car, believe it or not. Let's see, what were the results here? Hmm. Yes, the P1 is faster by 4 seconds. This car is faster than the F1 by about 2 seconds. Wow, so for being track focused, this is not that much fun. Oh, it, it must have been that, that, that downstrip where it must have killed the Ferraris. Yeah, that strider, it really hit them. But guys, like always, like I always say, if you want to come back and see these interesting videos and all this good content that I'm trying to give to you guys, subscribe. It's really important that you guys do that for yourself. And of course, don't forget to like the video. I'm trying to get as much as I can. Thanks, guys. And of course, comment below for consideration of anything you guys are interested in saying. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys definitely in the next one, most likely tomorrow. All right, guys.